What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Polkadot token. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with some fundamental news that might affect uh, the price of this uh, token. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts uh, on the technical analysis and the probable price action. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very top and I've told you that we might have a pullback and uh, my main assumption was that we might have a pullback according to this uh, bearish divergence and bearish divergence is the pattern when you can see lower highs on RSI with the higher highs on the price action. And as you can see, uh, right here we had uh, this movement to the downside and uh, this asset lost about uh, 30, more than 32% of its price during just uh, several days. And uh, I was right that we have to hit uh, some uh, levels along the Fibonacci uh, retracement uh, tool. And uh, on top of that, let me show you that uh, we also had a good confluence level with the 0.618 extension level. It is uh, the range uh, from this bottom to this top and it is a 61% uh, of this length projected to this bottom. And we hit it to the tick and uh, from this point uh, we had to move lower and it happened. So I share my thoughts uh, on the technical analysis and upcoming movements of uh, this uh, coin in just several minutes. And for now let's continue with the total sentiment for entire crypto market. We are on uh, coinmarketcap.com and as you can see the total market cap for now is 1.99 trillion dollars and it is 1.86% increase over the last day and we have uh, major cryptocurrencies in green during last 24 hours as well as uh, Polkadot and uh, it's up for about 3.57% and its total market cap for now is uh, 32 point, uh, about 32 billion dollars and the total tradable volume is uh, 2.17 billion dollars and it's down for about 17.17 percent during last 24 hours so uh, we still don't have uh, the highest uh, volume but it is uh, rather high if we compare it uh, with for example this one and that is why we might uh, see a trend continuation and uh, i will show you what to expect next so, uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, continue again with this article and uh, it was published on September 23rd on uh, Business Insider and it's titled Altcoins Surge as Evergrande Crisis Cools Off with Avalanche, Cosmos and Polkadot Leading the Charge. And let me quote you these bullets. Avalanche, Cosmos, Dot and uh, Sol rose sharply, recovering from this week's uh, meltdown. Risk appetite uh, picked up uh, after Evergrande made interest payments uh, on some of its bonds, allaying some investors' concerns. Crypto is not tightly correlated with other risk assets uh, in the long term, Marcus uh, Sotiru from Global Block said. And uh, I agree with uh, Marcus, uh, and I have to say that uh, we have uh, more exposure from other cryptocurrencies, uh, for example, uh, from Bitcoin price to the majority of uh, coins uh, that are traded uh, for now in uh, different exchanges. So, and uh, let's continue with the technical analysis. Uh, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So, as I already mentioned, uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, sell-off. And I have to say that on my previous video, I've told you that we might hit uh, several levels. Uh, the levels might be, let me clean the chart a little bit. Right here you can uh, see it uh, more properly. And the levels might be at uh, 0 0.236, 0 0.382 and 0 0.5 levels. We didn't hit, as you can see, we didn't hit 0 0.5 levels, but we had a very good reaction if I switch to 4 hours time frame, you will see it more thoroughly. As you can see, we touched uh, to the tick uh, 0 0.236 level and uh, had a good bounce. Then we broke it to the downside and had very good reaction from the level of 0.382. And uh, right here, we also broke it to the downside. But in a matter of just uh, 8 hours, uh, we bounced back, retested from the top. As you can see here, we bounced that red candle we retested and bounced uh, higher. And uh, this uh, was a very good uh, bullish sign and that we might have uh, this level as the lowest one 
for the entire retracement. And I have to say that uh, for now, I think uh, we have uh, several possibilities. First of all, as I already mentioned in my previous video, I had some concerns about this movement. And uh, this uh, uh, retracement to the downside was uh, quite uh, deep uh, related to its price, but it was uh, very shallow related to its length. And uh, I've told you that uh, from uh, the end of July till uh, uh, beginning of September, we cannot have the retracement that lasts uh, just uh, several hours. And that is why, in my opinion, retracement should be uh, a little bit longer. And I have to say that uh, the first possibility is extremely bullish and uh, it's uh, not so obvious that we might have uh, this type of uh, simple zigzag. We have an extension in B wave and uh, potentially we might have uh, a truncated uh, C wave. If it is the real bottom, we might have uh, this uh, weird, weird retracement, but it is still uh, happens and uh, it's not so often, but uh, it happens. And uh, the other case uh, might be slightly different. Uh, if uh, this uh, Elliott wave breakdown is incorrect and uh, uh, potentially we might have the top of uh, the wave right here, but this week eliminates this uh, count, then in this case uh, we might have uh, this type of uh, retracement. This might be the A wave, uh, potentially this might be the B wave, and somewhere here we might land C wave and uh, theoretically it might land at golden pocket. But I don't think uh, that uh, it uh, is my main count for now, because this movement to the downside eliminated the count in which we might have uh, this as uh, the top of our fifth wave. And uh, I've told you in my previous video that uh, we cannot have uh, the retracement uh, of certain wave that is below the bottom of uh, initial wave. And in this case, uh, we have to have uh, the internal third wave that is retraced uh, deeper than uh, its uh, bottom. And that is why it cannot be like this. And that is why this is still my main count. So what to expect next and what should you do? Basically, for now, it is uh, quite uh, simple to make an assumption. And I have to say that you can accumulate your position with the movement to the downside, because uh, from our current price, we have about uh, 20% to this previous uh, swing low and uh, this might be your stop loss at this range. But our main target are still uh, in play and I have to say that the first target might be this swing high, next one this swing high. And from our current price we might have uh, about 21% to first target and about 56% uh, uh, to our second target. And if uh, we will have uh, uh, more attractive average price, our gains might be much, much higher. And that is why you have always to ladder your buys down. So, and let me show you one more bullish pattern that you have to uh, keep an eye. Uh, and uh, it is on a daily time frame. And let me show you that right here. We have higher lows on the price section and lower lows on RSI. Let me mark it for you. We have this low and this low and we have uh, this low and this low and if you can see this type of pattern higher highs on price action with the lower lows on uh, RSI this is a hidden bullish divergence and from this point we might see a trend continuation in other words as you can see we are moving higher we have higher lows on the price action but RSI is cooling down and uh, this means that uh, asset is extremely bullish and I have to say it has a very good volume even during this uh, retracement phase and I still have some doubts about the, this uh, movement according to Elliott wave theory. But uh, other signs shows me that uh, we might have a trend continuation and we might, have, uh, we might hit our targets. And that is why you can accumulate your position but be extremely cautious. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!